Welcome to how to export and import interactive rubrics. Rubrics may be shared with other courses or your colleagues by exporting and importing them in Blackboard. Log into Blackboard and go to the course where you've created rubrics. Click on Course Tools to maximize your course tool menu and then click on rubrics. You can export one or multiple rubrics from a course just by checking on the box next to the rubric or rubrics and clicking export. You have two options for exporting. You may export them to a local computer which will download a zip file, which is helpful if you'd like to share this with your colleagues. You can email the file, save it to the S drive, put it on a CD. If you're just exporting to bring it into another class, I recommend exporting to the content collection. It'll save you a lot of steps. I'm going to select that option and then click on Browse. Now click on My Content and then click on Users. You should see a folder with your username. Click on that. And then I'm going to create a folder in my area here for rubrics. And I'm going to go into that folder and then click this radio button here that says Select Current Directory and hit Submit. And then hit Submit again. You'll see a green message at the top that lets you know you've successfully exported the rubric. Now click on My BB, and I'm going to click on another one of my courses, which currently has no rubrics in it, and I'd like to bring that rubric in. Again, go down to your Course Tools and click on Rubrics, and click on Import Rubric. If you have been given a zip file from a colleague, this is where you would browse your computer to select and upload that file. If the rubrics are in the content collection, click on Browse Content Collection. You'll want to click on My Content and then click on Users. You'll see a folder with your username and you're just browsing to where you saved that folder. In this case, I put it in the rubrics folder it's a zip file, and Blackboard always uses the same naming convention, which is rubric followed by export file followed by the name of the class. Click the radio button next to that file, and then scroll down and click Submit, and then click Submit again. And you should get a message, sometimes it can take a couple seconds, that says rubric import result and it will just let you know if it's been successful or not. Click OK and now I have an exact copy of that rubric. I can use it in this class and if I'd like I can also make changes to this rubric which will not affect that original rubric. If you'd like more help please visit our website www.grcc edu slash learn bb for more tip sheets and videos. If you're having technical issues, please contact IT Help. And for questions on how to do something in Blackboard or for training, please contact dlit at grcc.edu.